Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by Wayne Porter, our speed down a player. And he's bowling on the easy house shot. Yes, he is. And today we've got the first in the heritage line dedicated to Mo, the innovator. Oh, a strike. Woo. We're off his benchmark spot. That's wow. Good. Yeah. Now, uh, this is a brand new uh, core, something that, that Mo had been working on before he passed. Uh, with an updated cover stock, why don't we take a little bit of a look at this? It's the Motion Magic cover stock. Yeah, it's a Motion, motion Mo Magic motion Plus. Motion Plus. Oh, it plus, has plus cover stock. Sorry, it has extra motion. Extra Ooh. motion. Mo yeah. It's got the motion on the ocean. Um, which is a Pearl Reactive. Yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's got the new Innovator Core, like yes. you said. And it's got Dynamic Core. Woohoo! Woo. Now this is uh, at 500, 1, 1,500 plus factory compound. Yeah, that's uh, that is a a strong preparation with. Uh, well, the compound's going to create a little bit more length, length. Uh, without sacrificing a lot of the hook. Yeah, so you're going to still get some earlier roll, but kind of delayed at the same time. Yeah, so when you saw Wayne throw his first shot, we have a little bit of friction on the lane. He struck. Um, now he's trying to get around it a little bit to create some shape. <laughs> Just to show it off, and it's got shape. It's it, got shape. It hooks. Now, normally I wouldn't put a speed-dominant player yeah. in a ball like this uh, on fresh oil. Fresh, yeah. Um, we're seeing a little bit of over-under. Yeah. When that friction... Uh, gets developed later on when you've burnt a spot up to the outside or the oil starts to creep in, this is going to be really nice. Yeah, you're going to take advantage of that earlier friction that the the pearl finish is going to get get it down the lane a little bit more, right? Look at this. Whoop. It's still... Uh, oh, wow. Speed dominant so player leaving a nine, nine pin. pin. Yeah. It's got hook and... Um, somebody before this stuff came out was uh -huh. asking on the one of the radical pages that I follow, and they're like, "What's a really good ball for this situation? This player, like, I want something that's going to hook down lane." I'm like, "Just wait, just wait, yeah, just wait," because I already knew that this was going to be something special. So, so that was four boards left yeah. of his <laughs> benchmark spot where he struck. We're gonna make another four board jump. <laughs> Just get um, over. Just move. <laughs> move speed dominant guy. And this yeah. is what we're talking about. When you've yeah. got a, a defined friction point, you've got some place you can throw it to. Like this. Boom. That Hello. Was yeah, that was nice. That was a very angular reaction, yeah. especially for our speed dominant player. Yeah. Here he is left handed. I do love, like, I, I know it's weird. I do love seeing the left handed okay. view. Just because my eye has always been trained to watch right-handed view, yeah. you can see a much the the motion much more defined when yeah. you flip it over. You can, yeah, it looks so much different. Yep. Now here we are with our benchmark ball, and as always, it is smooth. Oh, look, look at, at him! Yeah. Urgh. Urgh. Stuff it in there, smooth, <laughs> yeah. reliable. That's yeah. why we use the bonus. Every brand has a ball similar yeah. to this, and here we are with the innovator. And you see a little bit of difference. Now, what I did is I took the benchmark shot, shot and put yeah. it against the benchmark shot. And you can see probably about a three-foot difference. The innovator went down. Yeah. But it was very close. He got the overlays close. Like, he was a little bit more inside. Yep. And which means he covered a little bit more boards. Yeah, probably one or yeah. two extra boards. Yeah. Now, this is what I like, though, yeah. is I took that original benchmark shot. And I took when we uh, let him loose and get around it. I can really see it. Look at it cross them. It went three feet farther down yeah. and hooked ten boards more. more. Yeah. So that's really taking advantage of. Thank you, Mo. Yeah. I just big old bi big old uh, uh, salute there to yeah. Mo for creating a ball that that speed dominant players yeah. can create ten boards of versatility with. Yeah. Here you are. And you can see, right off the spot, that oh. was close. 
I was going to say, that's probably the closest thing you're going to see out of any of the new releases near the pocket on my benchmark <laughs> Um But because this is Pearl, and I got it down and played up the back nicely on it, it, it sat and got to the pocket. Yeah. Now, uh, you're probably a board, I'd say probably a one-in-one one and one right move on yeah. that to carry that 10 pin but you stayed in the same spot and then you decided to get around it a little bit yeah. more let's, um, let's put a little side on it yeah because I mean we saw a difference when our speed dominant player yeah. got around a little more so we put you in the same spot and let you get around it and there you go Ooh. yeah <laughs> hello friction yeah yeah <laughs> now this hooked I'd say probably around what 37 to 40 feet yeah and just c like somebody kicked it, it down kicked lane. It, yeah, it's it will respond strong to the friction. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you get your tilt, change your tilt a little bit, and get around it, and just shape it up like crazy. Now it's one of those things that a lot of people forget, and it's uh, you know what? It's a lesson that I've recently had reaffirmed to me: the farther left you get, the yeah. more you have to raise your tilt. Yes. When you're a lower tilt bowler, uh, it makes it read too early. Look at that one. Ooh. Ooh, got that a little wide. That so little we wide. moved you another two boards and threw it flat. Yeah. And it didn't quite get back. Yeah. So. I guess we're going to have to get you to. Come around. Try to get around it a yeah. little bit there. Yeah. And this is what we're, we're saying for our match player. I think, actually for all of our players, yeah. I think this is a, one of those situations where. This ball, when it sees a friction point, and you know there's a friction point there, yeah. you can exploit it. Oh, yeah. Because look. Watch this. It's such a different thing, and all I did was come around a little bit around the side a little bit more. Yep. Right? It's not playing, playing up the back as much. So. And I think right. this is where people often get confused. Uh, here you are. Here's Pooks throwing it left-handed. <laughs> um, people often get confused. They think, oh, you know. When I get a ball, I have to be able to play straight up the back it. I have to be able to get around it. Yeah. It has to have a lot of versatility. Yeah. Not every ball has to be no. do everything. This ball exploits friction yeah. and exploits when you can get a little bit of rotation to that friction. Yeah. Here you are with the bonus. Bing. Oh. So pretty. You throw that ball so pretty. Yeah. It's got the motion I like, the smooth, steady arc. You know, yep. It's just so nice. And then here you are versus – well, <laughs> I mean, you might get on the screen yeah. versus yeah. the innovator. I was going to say a little bit different. That covered a lot of boards. Yeah. <laughs> Ten <laughs> boards, I'd say maybe th – what do you think, three yeah, or five feet, feet farther oh down? Yeah, easy, yeah. Mm. And that's the thing is it really, really – yeah, like – when I came around it and pushed it down the lane and got around it, it definitely had a, a more solid reaction. It didn't seem to, I don't know, it's just, it was better. Here I am with it, and you can see uh, at my benchmark spot, I actually flagged the head pin. Yeah. Um, so for me, when I play a little bit farther right, when I'm in my benchmark area, I try to get my speed up a little bit. And the ball kind of squirted through. Yeah. So, first thing I did, move right. You miss it right, you move, move right. right. Yeah. Um, I expected that, actually, from this. Being a pearl ball, Yeah. I knew that this was going to fit in kind of in that, in that area where when I knew there was friction, when I wanted to get around it more, create more rotation, yeah. this was going to be more of that ball. It what wasn't going to be yeah. for me throwing it forward. Yeah. We just talked about that. Yeah. Um, I didn't expect this ball to look good throwing it forward to me. So here I am throwing it forward, moving right on it. Strike. It strikes, but... But it's still the same thing. It just didn't want to get that friction. It just didn't That's pop, right. right. So, we're going to make a change here. <laughs> it's unusual, but you guys have asked us for this before. We're going to make a surface change. I'm going to make a surface change. I'm going to make a surface change. So I'm going to hit this with a 3,000... Oh, there you, that was oh. my first shot. Oh, sorry. Wow, yeah, <laughs> that was fast. Uh, I hit it with a 3,000 pad here yeah. just to speed up the, the reaction and yeah. take some of the compound off. Yeah. You'll see through our video here, we were having yeah. a problem with this lane. It wouldn't recy recycle properly, yeah. so my apologies for missing that shot. Um, but I wanted to speed up the reaction and get some of the compound off. Yeah. 
so I could get take a little bit more of advantage of getting around the ball. Yeah. The first one didn't look too bad. Look at this. Ooh, that was pretty. Went off uh, a little more towards the eight pin side than the nine yeah. pin side. See how much more it picked up for yeah. me. Well, and that's too is you're taking the compound off. You're going to get more actual cover cover stock, right? And we've talked about this in the past many of times. And see, this is what we're yeah. talking about when yeah. the lane just <laughs> yeah. gives you no um, pins. Because our great friend Chuck told us yep. many many years ago, many years ago now. Um, that uh, he likes to hit everything with a use 4,000 to get rid of all that stuff yep. off. So, so I hit it with a 3,000. So I'd already moved seven boards left on yep. that last strike. It was a little high on the head pin, though. Wow. That's at 40. Yeah. So now we're seeing this ball really jump to life. So I yeah. think for you, um, for you, even for the speed dominant players, yeah. just taking a little bit of the compound off, Yeah really jumps this ball up. Now, I've uh, since already taken this ball... Stupid... Not, uh, not extra pins. Uh, I've already taken yeah. this ball up to 4,000 to yeah. use as my later hook ball um, when I know I've got a defined friction point, but I've got to get it down get lane. It down, yeah. I know that I can trust this thing to definitely see the oh, friction I can down see, lane. Yeah. Here I am. I'm going to move another five boards left to 45, and I'm going to raise my tilt a little bit. Look at that. Again, just such beautiful motion. Like Runs over the 8-9. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very, uh, as always, it's Mo. Yeah. Always impressed with yeah. Mo. Um, I think that this is one of those balls that every bowler type can benefit from. Yeah. For me, I'm going to use it in my late hook spot yeah. with some surface. For you, out of box was, it was yeah, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then for Wayne, maybe a surface change, maybe just take the compound off, just to yeah, 1,500. 1,500, 2,000, something like that, yeah. Here I am with my benchmark bonus. This is my baby. I gush about it all the time. Yeah. People complain. Um, but it gives us a chance to show off exactly what this ball looks yeah. like. You have something to compare it to. Yep. Right? Like, that's the main thing. So here it is. That is a significant wow. difference. An extra three three feet, uh, probably ten boards at, at least. Le at least ten boards. At yeah. least a completely different motion that yeah. we were able to create. Um, so if you're looking for something that's going to be good for any bowler, yeah, I think this, this is, is the is pearl it. for the yeah, job for sure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.